when we had last left Team Watcher, they were back at Kazuwari, ready for more fun and adventure, looking for trouble, looking for combat at the Crucible, of course. There they faced down a whole shitload of ogres, a, um, a big fiery dude, and a ton of Zarps, just an absolute ton, even more Zarps than there were the ogres earlier. So many Zarps, in fact, that they were overrun and needed to reconsider how the hell they were going to do things. And so they did. <laughs> this is Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire, Seeker, Slayer, Survivor. Welcome back. Let's turn it on. There we go. As you can see, we have temporarily replaced our non-essential party members, right? Because, you know, we are we always need our healer, always need our tank, and hey, the Watcher always has to be there, <laughs> right? But swapped out Fasina and, oh my god, Constantin for our AoE powerhouses to Kehu and Aloth, and hopefully what? this will go a bit differently. There we are. Let's Greetings, get on. Oh, champion. whoops. Leave Good. I've already inserted the skull once more. There we are. Zarb Chronicles. There it is. Now, this time I also did respec Aloth to better make use of all of his plus illusion power level bonuses. Right? Along with his prestige ability, he's got plus two illusion from his weapon and plus one illusions from his hat. So it's pretty good. The first hunter set arrow to bow. Cold-blooded predators stalked the kith. Today, you are again the quarry. Okay, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's see how we do. Hopefully, a lot better. Well, at least it's not a dragon. I've rather had my fill. I shall beat, I shall. Okay, there we are. I wonder if that is reactivity to us having killed dragons with Aloth specifically, or just our party, right? Just the Watcher having done so. Because certainly we used Aloth almost the entire game in the first one, right? Because he was just pretty invaluable, wasn't he? Okay, let's turn on our additional details. Do a quick save just as well over here. Okay, I think we go for it. Let's see how we fare. Oh, let me make sure I do have... Yeah, Muatu is on our friend here. To Kehu. Okay, should I also maybe give it to... Hmm, I could also use it. Right? I could I could make use of it on Cause Takehu and Aloth both potentially have summons, don't they? And you can't have more than one summon out. Hmm. You know what? Let's give it to To Adair, right? Why not? There we are. Do we have another trinket or whatever that we can pass over? Let's see. Winter's Veil was this. Crit to hit chance, minus 50% incoming damage. I mean, that's good enough, right? That's pretty decent. Some sort of defensive ability. Or this, lost in time. Hmm. Yeah, removes them from combat. Okay, that seems pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's do that. Give that to Takehu. Good. I gladly accept. Okay, another quick save. And let's move on in. Yuck. Great. And let's see. See how we do. There we are. Okay. Now for Aloth, I've also set it up to where we're a bit more hands-on with his bullshit, right? Okay. So let us immediately call down Nature's Bounty here for all of us. Good. Halogena, I want your weapons out over here. If you can, I will self-buff. And let me actually fire into this drake if I can. There we are. I'll try and go after the big boys and just kind of... We'll, we'll assume that our AoE powerhouses can take care of, or at least crowd control, the Zara Horde. Okay. Now, what do we want here? We could have Aloth pull out a summon. I think I did give him one. I'm not sure. I may not have done, actually. Oh, yeah, I gave him Substantial Phantom. But that said, Console House Doom is an illusion spell. And maybe that would be a more effective, right? I think maybe we just move Aloth closer into position here. Oh shit, Aloth is having difficulty. Okay, good. Let's see. 
Let us make this humongous, and we'll try and turncoat a shitload of these assholes. Right? There we go. Ooh. Okay, everyone's drinking up. Let's see, Palagina, did you do yours as well? Nope. Take care of that. Okay, her weapons are out. Let's have them go after the fire drake there as well. We'll try and focus fire the drake. Good. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Did the crowd control from Aloth go off? I think it did. But I'm not sure if it actually worked on any of them? Yeah, I don't know that it did fucking jack shit. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's have Adair, once he's done drinking, we need to have him get Muatu out. Okay, over here, let's try some of this enervating terror, right? Let's make that big as shit and throw that down right here on these a-holes. Good. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expertise. Good, good, good. Oh, let's try again. Okay, great. Let's keep on the fire drake over here. Or maybe we should, yeah, we should go after the priest. Can I reach him? Ugh, it's gonna be tough. Here, let's swap to our other shit here. And let's just blast through these assholes like this. Good. Takehu is laying down his other shit here. His blind, his chill fog. Actually, Takehu, maybe lay down your speed debuff and we'll have Aloth try and blind. There we go. Good. Pelagina's doing okay-ish. All right. Pelagina, take your slurp once you get back up. Good. Okay. Also, I got us the Survivor's Den, so we have less duration on the Fire Breath, right? Because that was also really fucking killer. It had such a massive duration. Okay. Let's try Wild Shot here. Good. like that? Great. Okay, let's swap again over here. Fire into this big old bunch. And let's see. Takehu, I actually want you to activate your Maelstrom power over here. There we go. Yeah, look, they're totally terrified as hell. Okay, great. Launch it over that way. Actually, reconfigure that because Adair is over there potentially getting fucked up by it. Okay. Let's see. Where is another healer. There is a high priest. Good. Let's get these weapons and shit on them. Oh, the, the weapons actually can get feared. Who would have thought? Okay, sure. Okay, let's try and expose vulnerabilities here as well. Good. Like this? I would kind of like to get that big fucking thing in there, but you know what? I'm more keen on getting that hmm... You know what? Fuck it. Let's get that big motherfucker in there. That seems like a good move. Okay. Vulnerabilities exposed. Pelagina, you stay over here. Watch out for that AoE blast. We should be able to more successfully eat those, though. I think. Okay. And let's swap our weapons here again. Let's go to Conductive Blast. Should we blast over here? We may want to. Yeah, look. It's within blasting range. Let's go. Blast them. Okay, and Aloth. Let's try and lay down our oil slick here. We'll slick up a shitload of them, and we can actually slick up the dragons, right? Despite the fact that they're flying, they are susceptible to it, right? Mechanically speaking. Okay. There we are. Good. Halogena, toss a heal on yourself if you can. Wow, we're getting a little framey here because Takehu's bullshit just starts flying off like crazy. Okay, let's try a watery blurst. Let's see, if we make it huge, it's a 46% chance. But if we shrink it... Okay, it's a lower hit chance, but the actual penetration does go up to a decent amount. Let's try that. There we are. Yeah, there are so many fucking effects going off. It's buck wild here. Okay, let's call for Muatu as well. Muatu's coming out. Good. And let's see. I need to swap my weapons back over. And let's try and finish off these dudes who are, like, up here in our back line. There we are. 
Can't make a dent. Nothing uh, like that. Good. Let's keep firing into them here. Let's go after that champion. Okay, Aloth. Try and engage with some confusion here. Mass confusion. Good. Okay. And let's see. Should we try and get... Ooh, Overwhelming Wave. That's the one that shoves people out of the way, doesn't it? Yeah. Plows through everything in its path. Well, no, it, it stuns. Okay, maybe we don't want that. What's his, like, shoving shit ability? His shoving shit ability. <laughs> the boiling spray? Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Let's see. You know what? This is... This is okay. Because if we make it too big, it goes down by about 5%. Yeah, let's keep it like this. Boiling spray that direction. Let's do this. Destruction's no good to me. Good. Okay. And let's keep trying to finish off this fucking champion here, who is just a major dickaroo. Okay. Let's make this huge. Actually, let's keep it standard sized. Can I shrink it even? Yeah, if I shrink it, it's still going to apply. Okay, let's apply blindness to all these assholes here. Oh, like that? Good. Excellent. Need some all right. Got him. And Aloth. Aloth is really fucking doing work here. As is Takeo. As is Takeo. It's gotta be said. Okay. Boiling spray still going off, I think. Can blow him back here. Yeah, I think the location is still good. Okay. Where is Adair at? Is Adair self-buffed still? Yeah, refreshing defense. Good. Let's try... Where is Adair? He is right here. Where is the hitbox for the Drake? Oh, the Elder one is right there. Okay, let's get a dare on that motherfucker. It makes no difference. Good. Okay. Let's try and do another boiling spray here, I think. If we make it huge, we'll even hit the assholes in the back, let's potentially. Okay. Great. Let's see. Now, I'm thinking we could throw down this shit on this fire drake. I think we do that. It console helps crush and doom. Okay, good. Finally, we finished off that fucking skirmisher. Great. Okay, how are we doing over here? We're doing just fine. Okay, Palagina, get your... Do you want to toss a heal onto Takehu? No, because we're carving through more of them. Let's have her just get her summon out back here. Near Adair. Adair, you keep trying to knock that asshole. Right? Well, no, he's going to apply his debuff. Potentially. There we go. Got him. And try and knock him. Great. Okay, Crushing Doom is coming out. There it is. Okay. Fantastic. We could also try... Oh, look. They're terrified just as well. Hmm. Oh, the confusion. Oh, shit. Alos Confusion made their terrifying battle roar affect themselves. Oh, shit, that's good as hell. Okay. Let's see. How about we lay down some more debuffs? We could also do this repulsive visage. Or we could try and slow these a-holes down, right? Maybe that's the move here, is to slow these three a-holes down a bit, right? That way we can carve through them. I think that's a great move. Okay. Which one is the weakest? Let's go for the weakest link here. Let's go for this most eastern Zarb champion. Here we are. Let's have Palagina toss a heal out onto Takehu, because he is still getting hammered a bit. Okay. Big fucking thing. Let's have it... Hmm. Let's go after this priest here as the summoned weapons. Right? Because it is almost dead. We'll actually have this other summoned weapon try and knock down the big-ass Drake. We'll try and keep that thing CC'd. Where's the other one? Did we already kill it? Yeah, we did, I think. I think that's it dead. Okay. Good. Oops. Here we are. And where's our ranged one? There it is. Okay, yeah. Finish off that high priest. Did we already get the other high priest? Aren't there usually two? I think we did get it. Let's go. Okay. No difference. Excellent. Dope, dope, dope. Let's see over here. We could also knock him down and shit. But I think we're fine. Yeah, this is like night and day how much more effective it is now that we have a group specialized for taking out this threat. Okay, we could also try and lay down some... some bullshit over here and, like, petrify them. Would we want to do that? I think we should. Look, 
We can get in quite a few dudes there with that. All right, let's try it. We'll at least get a few. Not very helpful. Okay, let's have this weapon go over here and stay on the... Ooh, let's finish off these ads down here. That way they don't cause too much trouble for our back line. There we are. Great. Make sure I am on this weaker one because I might actually be able to finish it off. Good, the paralysis went off. I'm not even sure whose paralysis... Oh, that was the... Oh, yeah, the... That last fucking gaze of the Adragon. Okay. Good, good, good. Man, this is going so fucking well. All right, what's next? We could try and hit these assholes with another knockdown, if we'd like. Or we could try these dazzling lights. Either seems good. Hmm, if we make it huge, can we... No, we can't get all of them. Not really. Who, who, who? How about... We throw down some dancing bolts, at least, right over here. Good. And we'll have Aloth launch off. Do a Calicost Super Rake. Okay, is that good positioning? I think so, yeah. They're lit up red. If they're red, they're gonna be dead. Good. Wow, fucking prone that asshole. There goes the rake. Ooh, that looks cool. Okay. And let's try... Fuck it, let's do another one. Let's just double down on it. The most amazing thing about that is that despite it being a damaging ability, it is technically an illusion. So Aloth gets his dope-ass bonus. Better try something there we go. Oh, another rake, if you please. Okay, I will refresh my abilities, get some more uses. Let's just go for a standard attack on that skirmisher right up on us. Good. Let's have... This weapon go on to that dude out there. There we are. Where are the other weapons? We'll have them all go after this asshole. Okay, and the other one. Where are you at? Jeez, it's always so hard to target them. <laughs> there we are. Good. Okay. Great. Let's try and throw down Chill Fog. Why the hell not? Throw it down over there. Let's do this. All right, that skirmisher is toast. Excellent. And let's go after the. Oh yeah, there is a high priest. Okay, totally missed you. I hope nobody saw that. Okay, we'll gun for that dude. Oh man, we're obliterating them. Okay. In fact, I'm just going to do an auto attack against that thing. Makes no difference. Oh no, probably should have done a bit more. It's fine though. Okay. Let's also try some of this, this concussive super blast, because I'm curious how it'll look. It looks pretty cool. It is not an illusion. illusion. Quick, toss me something else. Ooh, man, the, the magic missiles. They really look so much cooler in this one, right? I remember using them in Pillars 1, and they were not as nearly, nearly not as, they weren't, they didn't look cool. <laughs> okay. Let's throw out... Ooh, what do we want? I think we got this one in the fucking bag. There we are. Not work. You like that? Good. Let's go. I'm some okay, how about we throw down some more lightning here? This. Oh, Good. And we'll just speed time up and plow through. Yeah, need something stronger. Yeah. Wow, it was so night and day. We only even had to heal once as Palagina. Holy shit. What did we get? Dire Talon, a saber, of course. Given the <laughs> all the piratey nature of everything, there have been a shit ton of sabers in this. <laughs> dire Talon, saber, one-handed, of course. Let's just read it. Seven centuries ago, the Valian Duke Alphan Medroca contracted a group of gold-packed knights to slay a dragon in the mountains that bordered his lands. The band's commander, Pietra Vives, returned alone three weeks later. She was the sole survivor. Though the dragon bore grave wounds, it was not slain, she claimed, and thus she couldn't consider her duty discharged. She gathered another group of hunters, each as renowned with a blade or bow as she, paid them from her own coffers and struck forth again. 
This time, she returned with the head of the monster pulled behind her steed. According to legend, Pietra led a master swordsmith into the hills to locate the corpse. He crafted a saber from each massive claw, and Pietra granted the weapons to the families of her fallen soldiers, along with their share of the bounty. This particular blade passed down from the Segreto family line, eventually following their fight from the collapsing eventually following their fight from the collapsing Valia to the Deadfire and into the nascent Principe. Wow. Huh. That's really nice that, uh... Yeah, that's that's a really cool and interesting way of showing, like, a gold pack knight being more than just, like, greedy as fuck, right? Because that's the first thing that you think of. This, like, subverts the stereotype. Which, the gold pack knights in and of themselves are a subversion of the paladin stereotype, right? So here with this little tale, they are subverting their own subversion. <laughs> right? Fuck. I don't know. The The gold pack knights are such a... Like, because they are subversive compared to, like, your stereotypical paladin stuff, it's... I really enjoy it, right? Because even... Even the, like, evil paladin, that's becoming more and more common. Like, a paladin who is loyal to someone who is evil... But it's interesting that, yeah, th these are paladins who are loyal to money. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let us check the enchants here. So, Tooth and Claw, 10 accuracy against beasts, 10% damage against beasts, Drake Command. Once per rest, the wielder calls upon a powerful Drake. Yeah, of course. Worm Call. Whoa, 20% chance on scoring crit to summon three worms for eight seconds. Huh. 20% chance on crit. Do you think that stacks? No, because you can't have more than one summon at the same time. This would be fucking incredible if it's stacked, right? And I wonder how many attacks can the worms get off in eight seconds? At least two volleys, maybe three volleys of fireballs, I'd assume. Hmm. Which is not half bad, because also they're like a wall of bodies to protect you. But yeah, imagine this on a barbarian if summons, if you could stack summons. Holy shit, just like cleaving and like summoning shitloads of worms. Oh my god, it would just destroy your game. It would, <laughs> your game would just crash to desktop instantly. <laughs> Fuck. The mechanics have become too cool for even the engine to handle. <laughs> Let's take all that. Here we go. The reptilian hunters proved no match for the Watcher! Revel in your triumph, for you bring glory to all kith! Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, yeah, that is amazing how... <laughs> how different that went. My god. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of makes me want to have Aloth and Takehu with us now for the next ones, right? Because I don't think... Yeah, What's unfortunately that? enough, the I don't think mine. hanging out in this area actually can trigger any ambient dialogue, can it? Unfortunately enough. This would have been actually a great place to have that happen. Like, any time you pass, like, this area to have your party members start to speak. But it doesn't seem like any of that can happen. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Let's just rest and we'll keep Takehu and Aloth with us, because, like I said, this what just doesn't seem like an area where we can get that extra dialogue. Of okay, let's rest for... Let's go back to the gymnasium. There we are. Yeah, I think resting in that... the larder, I think it was, also really helped with the fire. Okay, over here. We may yet encounter another challenge that has terrible debuffs. Okay. Let's see what's our next one. The surviving faces hunt for the matron skull. Okay, and that's probably going to have us fight some sort of like ogre matron, right? Let's see what we get. There we are. And matron skull. Zoosh. Okay. Oh no. Skeleton crew endurance trial. While any contender capable of surviving the Rite of Passage can fell a simple skeleton or two, it takes a skilled warrior to survive a near-endless barrage of these fearless, crazed vessels. Put your staying power to the test in this pitched battle against numerous hordes of skeleton adversaries. 
Oh shit, okay, yeah, it sounds like the AoE thing will actually also pay off here. <laughs> hmm. Fortunately, we have incredible sting power thanks to Palagina. Palagina single-handedly gives us just immense sting power thanks to her. Her weapon gives off the attack speed aura, her shield gives us an aura, her chest piece. The slightest of menaces can present a meaningful threat with sufficient number. Right, right. Endure, and you will be victorious. Good hunting. All right, great. The only thing I worry about with this is that the dope thing about Fasina and Constantin is that they were also chanters, which had essentially unlimited amounts of What's that? ability hmm. to kick ass, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, no problem. Let's enter right, stealth here. Do a quick save. We'll see how this pans out. There we are. Ooh, shit. Okay. I don't like how you are in the middle here and then, <laughs> yeah, they just get the full fucking surround on you. Good God. Okay. Let's see. Let's try out a substantial phantom there. Elgina, get out your summon as well. Good. Adair, you run over here. Great. Okay, let's go after, is there a caster one? Yes, there is one mage and a priest. Let's go after the priest. Okay. Am I self-buffed? Yes, I am. Great, let's get that priest. Yo, I'm getting fucked up. Okay. Let's try Boiling Spray. Belay that order there, friendo. And Boiling Spray the shit out of these assholes. Knock them away. Okay. Good. Okay, let's have these weapons go back onto the priest. Great. Okay, and where is the bow? There it is. Excellent. The difficult thing about this is that they are all immune to piercing, right? Fortunately, we have this incredible Ichia's Blaster. Okay, let's go after the priest still, I think. I think that is still the best maneuver here. Let's have Adair run up in here. Good. Okay, and Aloth. Let's try and... Try and give him a knock over here, right? Try and knock them all. There we are. Great. It's good to me. Okay. Do we yet have out our drinks? No, we don't. Okay. Takehu, give us some drinks. Great. Okay. And let's go after the mage now. Oh, you are throwing shit at me. I'd carry more if I could. Okay. Good. And let's have Aloth also. Actually, I think we're doing okay. Let's just, let's take it easy here a bit. Yes, Aloth, right, this does not work. Okay, here we are here on this priest. Finish that fucking priest off. There we are. We got rid of that mage as well. No, the mage teleported. That's fine though. Okay, have our ranged BOBs, casters. Good. Everyone on this. Actually, let's split up a bit. There we are. Excellent. Dope, dope, dope. Okay. I think we move over here, actually. Let's not stand in the fucking middle. There we are. Unless it needs us to stand in the middle to get more of them. I don't know. Oh, what the fuck is this? Is there someone in this egg? Is there a person in that egg? Ancient memory, it's healing us up. Sure. Hello? Is someone in this fucking egg? Did Alice, a, like, weird random proc go off and Let's someone go. got yeah. stuck inside of this egg? Wow, yeah, it's a priest! Maybe they egged themselves. Okay. Algina, get your summons out. Here we are. Good. Okay. Now let's move down here. Great. Okay, we've just got regular, regular ass motherfuckers. Good. 
Okay, let's go after this thing with our weapons here. Great. Adair, you try and run up here and route them. Okay. And let's see. I think we're still doing good. Better try something else. So, so far, let's just keep track of these waves for fun, right? This is the second let's wave. This. Okay. Good. Let's go after... Let's actually turn on just auto attacks for me. In case I need to preserve my bullshit. Okay. Let's turn on a blizzard right here. Make sure out he is er Takeu is in the right area. Good. Okay, let's try and keep some Let's keep the damage on these lower dudes. Burn them down first. And let's have the crowd control one try and take care of the swashbuckler. Right nice Good. Okay. Great. Let's see. I should probably. Liquid Audra, let's drink that. F it. Oh, it paralyzed. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, well, good thing I did it right there. How long am I gonna be paralyzed for? Jeez. Oh my god, what a terrible thing. It doesn't even have a timer on it. Am I just eternally paralyzed? <laughs> Jeez, am I fucked? <laughs> I might just be fucked. Okay, Palogina, heal yourself back up. There we are. Wow, am I really just fucked forever? There's no duration on this Liquid Audra shit. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. Alright. Palogina, do you have Lay on Hands on yourself? Yes, you do. Let's see. Man, this swashbuckler is really fucking her up big time. Let's have a dare go over onto it. Good. See if we can't get some interrupts and just all that good stuff. Everyone else. Me on this soldier. Good. Jesus, Palashina. Holy fuck. She's real fucked up here. Let's get another heal on her. There we are. Makes no difference. Good. Yeah, these soldiers are really tearing through us. Okay. Wow, am I really just out of it forever? This was a mistake. <laughs> Yo, the liquid Audra sucks ass. Oh my god. Let's see. Arcane... That's not beneficial, though. Do I have a way to, like, rid myself of bullshit? It's all beneficial effects. Oh my god. This does not work. How long will I be paralyzed for? Forever? Is this like the ultimate curse? Jeez. This is awful. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. Wave three. Okay. What have we got? Priest mage. Priest mage. Okay. Maybe it'll be a good thing if I go down. Fuck. Okay. Let's aim this right here. Get some CC going on. Make sure we're on this mage over here. Let's get all of the weapons over there, I think. Good. Okay. And Takehu, how are you doing? Let's try boiling spray over in this direction. Let's see, yeah, let's get the ones off of Palagina there. She's in some deep shit. There we go. Good. Elgina, put a heal on yourself. Great. Okay, man, maybe we should put some fucking shielding on. Holy hell. Self heal. Okay. There we are. Let's get Muatu out as well here. Okay. And let's try to debuff them. Right? There we are. Make sure these weapons come over here to this stupid-ass mage. Take care of that. Let's also make sure they cast their abilities. Good. Got a shitload of priests here, and it ain't looking great. Watu's coming out. Good. Okay. And Takehu, how about... We could do this freezing pillar right here. Maybe that's for the best. Or we could throw down this big fucking thing. Maybe we do the big fucking thing. 
That's what I'm thinking right now. Yeah, let's do it. Maelstrom, activate. There we are. Okay, Halogena's still hanging in there. There we are. Okay, are they susceptible to being blinded? I think so. Come on. They have eyeballs, sort of. Let's try it. Okay. And then... Has everyone drank their bullshit? Algina, nope, you still have some. Have a drink. Okay, and I'm still fucked up. <laughs> wow, we're never using that item again. <laughs> what a fresh hell. It's. I would be fine if it were even like a long duration par paralysis, but it is just like until the end of combat. Okay, man, that maelstrom looks so damn cool. Okay. Need something stronger. Okay. And then, shit, I've totally lost count of how many waves we've had. Three, so far. I'm assuming we'll have more than than there were with that one group where it was like, oh shit, there's eight of them. <laughs> okay, gouging strike. Let's put one on this swashbuckler. Come on. Good. Okay. And let's see. Jeez, should I just let myself die? I don't even know if I can die. All right, we'll see what the fuck happens. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is terrible. And this is like one of the worst ones to be fucked up on, where it's going to be one that goes on forever. Okay, Palagina, get out another bunch of dudes. Yo, know, these Steel Spine soldiers, the Steel Spine skeletons really look like Terminators, don't they? Okay. Look, time slowed down. Am I about to get out of my bullshit? Nope, still in my bullshit. Okay. Well, <laughs> what the fuck can you do? Let's see. Adair, you run up here. Route these a-holes. Ooh, shit. Getting a little fucked up there, friend. Okay. Let's throw down some of this bullshit right here. How big can I make that? That seems good enough. Oh my god! Yo! Let's throw a heavy heal onto Adair. There we are. Holy shit, that was very close. Okay. Let's see. How about dancing bolts? Should we do some of that? How are they with electric? Oh, you'd think they would be weak to it. I guess corrode, yeah. Burn through the metal or whatever. Let's see. Let's throw down this shit right here. And let's have the weapons go after the weak dudes on the perimeter. Take care of the weaker adds, as always. There we are. Great. Okay. Let's see. Wall of many colors. This is going to be efficient here. I think it is. Yeah, look at that. Let's try that on for size. Perfect. Okay. Look, because they'll get these two armsmen just as well. Love that. Okay. Let's see. Looking good. Okay, and how about we have Takehu launch his bolts here? Why not? Or maybe we do a wall of frost at the same sort of position as Alos bullshit? Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, look. These things are done. Oh, I can't select that one for some reason. Okay. Let's see, Palagina, you stay over here. There we are. Good. Palagina, toss a basic heal on yourself just in case. Because these dudes do a lot. Okay. Let's try and knock them, I think. Yeah, let's try and knock them. There we are. Make them prone. And we could also do Entropy, Wall of Frost, Regen or something. Oh, here we go. Look, this is some good placement. We'll get three? Can we get four? I think I'm getting four here. Yeah, let's go for that. Wall of Frost. Okay. Send this shit over here to the Armsman. Jesus. Okay. Palagina, do another heal on yourself there. Good. Okay. Worst case, if Palagina goes down, we've got a revive in the bank. Okay. There we 
we are. Okay, and let's have Ala throw another one of the... Well, nope, that is the wrong one. How about we do this enervating one? Yep, that seems great. Try and get that on him. Excellent. Oh shit, they have teleported the fuck all over. Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> that is not great. Okay. Let's go on to this asshole. Good. How is Adare doing? He's getting CC'd by Alos Hell. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Okay, we could try Lost in Time. Hmm. Let us attack this armsman. Hey, I'm sorry you are. Here we are. Okay, okay, good. Let's have you all be over here arranged. Good. Pelagina, how are you? Not great. Let's try another heal. There's just one dude here. Right? We should be able to power through him. Oh, Adair is like. What do you need? Out of commission or something. I cannot select him. Okay, let's try. Expose vulnerabilities, perhaps? No, because a lot of them are friendly right now. Thanks to our... Bullshit. Ooh, maybe Substantial Phantom right now. That's the way to go. Okay. Good. Recovered from that. Alright, if it's on me, that's fine. If they all try and kill me, that is A-OK. -okay, because I'll be able to res and actually do shit. So if Palagina tries to heal me, I'll belay that order. Okay, let's get out some more summons here. Oh look, I am actually- my duration on that bullshit is going down a bit. Huh. Weird. Well, no, no dice. <laughs> I think when they hit me, it started to knock me out of it. Okay, let's have everyone be on this let's last go. dude, I think. I'm expecting more waves. I'm expecting at least three more. Okay, good. There we are. Great. Yep, more of them. Let's send the weapons up top. There we are. Okay, and have everyone else come down this way. Okay, good. Let's get everyone over here on this bullshit. Alright. Takehu, I need you empowered. Toss out another one of your maelstroms here. Yep, that's like almost perfect placement, I think. Well, no, we'll wait. We'll wait a bit. Let's see. Does he have out his watery double? No. Let's do that. We'll hold on for a bit. Okay. And then, what could we do here as Aloth? I think we wait for them to group up a bit, right? Let's send this weapon over to the priest. Good. Okay. Excellent. Okay, and then, let's see here. We could try this Gaze of the Adragon on these a-holes, which may be a good idea. Or we could try some blinding, which maybe is the better idea, right? Yeah, let's try and blind these, these tougher ones. Here we go. Good. Okay. This weapon be on this Risen Mage here. Good. Palagina, how are you doing? Doing fine. We could quick to rebel them. Maybe we try that. Now we'll hold off until it's just some of the tougher assholes. Yeah, like right there. Okay. Good. Laying down the chill fog, which actually we don't need at the moment. We could do hailstorm or... I think we do boiling spray here. Yeah. Let's do a boiling spray. Okay, these dudes are coming in, so we can actually shrink it. And by the time it's time to cast, they should be up in there. Yep. Good. Okay, great. Let us... Oh, look. Return Storm. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Maybe we should consider putting that up? I'm not sure. Watery Double is active. 
Okay, you know what? Let's go for another Maelstrom. They've kind of grouped up. I think we're looking good here to Maelstrom it. Okay. Good, I'm about to go down, which is fine, actually. We can send down some confusion over here. Or do we want it back here? Hmm. If I make it huge, I can actually get... Just barely get those in there. Yeah, okay. That's good positioning, I think. Good. There we are. Confusion went off. I'm nearly down. That's fine. Okay, Palagina, you come over here. All right. Great. Let's see, Adair. Hmm. Let's have Takehu revive me. There we are. And Aloth. Let's have you lay down the Gaze of the Adragon right here. Try and take care of all these a-holes. Great. And Palagina, you toss out a heal to Adair. There we are. There it is. Everybody's up again. Okay. Great. Let's now try and heal up here as well. Okay. And... Let's see, Gaze of the Dragon is about to go off, good. Whew! Let's try and top everyone off, I think, with some buffs. Right? I think that's the move. Good. Heals are going off. Okay. Throw a heal onto Takehu as well. There we are. Ooh, shit! Ooh, it's looking grim. Oh, God! Alien isn't doing so well. Jeez, oh fuck, that is terrible. Okay, this is gonna suck. Whew, man, yeah, that was so bad to drink that fucking liquid Adra. <laughs> that was so bad. That really fucked us here. Oh my gosh, what a nightmare. What a fucking nightmare. I hope nobody saw that. Okay, I mean, we could still technically kind of come back from this if we got, like, extremely lucky. Which, you know what? Let's let's test our luck. Let's test our luck. Why not? Let's try Confusion here. There we go. I don't think we're going to be lucky, but let's see. There we go. And then we can also do Capricious Hexing up in here. That said, I'm expecting there's more waves, right? All right, yeah, Alop is down for defeat. All right, fair enough. <laughs> what really fucked us over was that fucking liquid Audra. My God, what is even the chance of you getting a negative effect? I had no idea there was even one. Jesus, what a nightmare. <laughs> okay, let's load his save. Let's see here, how about... Yeah, we'll load the, the quick save there. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is a, a great time to, <laughs> to call it, I think. When next we come back, we will be ready for this encounter. We will not ever drink this liquid Adra unless it is such a super easy encounter. I'm never gonna fucking drink it again. Because apparently it can just perma-paralyze you, right? Not even a temporary paralyze, just permanently until you fucking die. Good God, what a, what a terrible, <laughs> but honestly, what, what a perfect, a perfect storm of a way to find out about it. <laughs> that fucked us over so badly, so, so badly. All right. Yeah. <laughs> when next we come back, we're going to take on the skeletons again. I think we do have a good setup for it, right? Better than our, our dual, or our triple chanter setup. Though maybe that is... Maybe that wouldn't be half bad. I'm not sure. It depends on really how many waves there are. So we'll see. Because if there's not too many waves, the AoE is going to make it easier. But if there are a shitload of waves, then the sustainability of chanters is going to win out, I think. Right? It just really depends on how many waves there are. Okay, cool. Until next time, please take care of each other.